to winding and grinding <laughs> up on the beans. And you already know she's gonna coffee. You already know she's gonna know. sip it. The hype is real for what we're about to make. It's all over the internet and we have to try it. We are making a butter board. The first step is to have a super cool board. We were super lucky to get to go spend some time at the Pearl Farmer's Market. That's in San Antonio. The Pearl is an iconic area, it used to be a brewery a long time, and it is a farmer's market on the weekend. We picked up this beautiful handmade cutting board. This cutting board is made of pecan wood. They sell so many amazing different pecans at this little stand that we were at. It is called Swift River Pecans. You gotta check them out. So this is gonna be the basis of our butter board. And now when you're making a butter board, you can make this however you want. If you don't like butter, don't use it. If you don't like a topping, don't use it and switch it out for something different. There are a million varieties that you have the option of making this delicious board. Since butter is the first ingredient and we wanted a free place to stop, where do you think we stopped for the night? You guessed it, Cracker Barrel. Julieta just so kindly went inside Cracker Barrel picked us up some hot, fresh biscuits. First up, let the butter sit out for a while, get it to room temperature so it's soft and malleable. We are using Nelly's Free Range Stick of Butter. I'm excited about this one, I gotta say. I'm just letting it warm up in my little hands. Winston, you helping? Thank you. He loves butter. Thank you for all of your help. <laughs> Full disclosure, we have never made this. Oh, Winston! It's a little too close. <laughs> Full disclosure, we have <laughs> we've never made one of these before. I've only seen them on the internet, so let's get to try it. I think it's still not hot enough. You can make your butter board sweet. You can make it salty. There are so many creative ways to design these boards now. While well, we wait for that butter to just warm up just a little bit, the coffee that I am brewing up today is also from the San Antonio Pearls Farmer Market and this is from What's Brewing. It's a local roastery out in San Antonio. We had to get some local coffee beans to pair with our butter board and those hot fresh biscuits from Cracker Barrel. While we're waiting for this butter to melt, we're gonna give you the real deal, the scoop about how things are going on this trip so far. We left our work camping job about four days ago. You saw that in our last video. Our first stop was in San Antonio to spend time with Juliet's little sister, Maya. We had the best, most rejuvenating time. Well, yesterday our camping adventure just started. So our plan was to boondock everywhere that we went until we get to Florida. And I'll start off by saying it did happen, but with a few hiccups along the way. The main hiccup is that when we arrived to Cracker Barrel last night, which get this, this is the same Cracker Barrel we stayed at a year ago when we were on the road. We didn't even know. I, we seriously had no idea it was the same Cracker Barrel. And when we pulled up, we were like, uh, this is the exact same one we were at. Okay, so let me paint the picture. We get to Cracker Barrel, ready to boondock for the very first time in our truck camper. We had a million plans as to what we were gonna cook and the lights and the refrigerator. We were so excited. Well, when we got here, we realized that the battery on our truck camper wasn't charged. We didn't have any of the lights that we planned on. We were boondocking with zero electricity. Luckily last night it was a high of about 67 degrees, which was pretty much a miracle so we could sleep okay. I think we went to bed at nine o'clock at the latest once it was dark. We were tired, we thought let's just hit the hay. We actually slept really good in this parking lot. I want to say I think we had a pretty good idea that this was going to be a trial run 
So we had the truck wired so that the car battery would actually charge the deep cycle battery on the camper. And I think because the fridge wasn't all the way cooled down, it was really just sucking out a lot of that power that the deep cycle battery had to offer. And I think that deep cycle battery is old, so we're gonna have to look into upgrading that. And also, are we gonna put money into that? Are we gonna put money into solar? Like, there's just kind of a lot of questions going through my mind right now. I'm disappointed that the battery didn't hold charge to get to the point wherever we were actually gonna be boondocking, and we had a few boondocking trips planned, but it is what it is. I really had this strong desire to go to the beach. We've been swimming all summer on the Frio River. As you know, we've been work camping the last six months. We lived on the Frio River at Riverbend on the Frio, this amazing campground in the hill country area of Texas. I really, the beach was calling to me. I miss the salty air, I miss the salt water on my skin and the sand on my feet, I miss all of it. So instead, we were able to snag a camping spot at one of the most beautiful beaches in the Panhandle. <laughs> We're spreading y'all. So really the deep cycle battery was kind of our biggest issue on the road yesterday. We're going to be driving long hours a day just to make up for some time and be able to have some downtime before we head back to our families in Florida. He has to try it. It's grass fed. What do you think? He likes it! <laughs> when I've seen these butter boards made by other people, they're really big. I'm talking four whole sticks of butter. And for ours, a little butter is going a long way. This is probably a quarter stick of butter. So we, we're gonna spread that thin, make it beautiful, and get to topping it. On today's butter board, our first ingredient is fresh, beautiful, juicy blueberries. Next up, walnut halves and pieces. This is gonna add a really nice crunch to it. We have some dried sweet cranberries we're gonna add. I went in the grocery store yesterday and when Julieta was unpacking some of the groceries in our camper, I was like, where did you put the milk? And she said, oh, I didn't see the milk. Where's the milk, guys? We couldn't find our almond milk anywhere. And then she said, well, you didn't get cereal anyway. I said, yes, I did. Where's the cereal? So I went back in the store and the cashier said, well, I put everything in your bag. I don't know what happened to it. And I, th I went and looked in the car again. No milk or cereal to be found. Or these cranberries weren't there. Went back into the grocery store for a second time. Talked to the manager. They watched the overhead cameras. Saw that the cashier was totally right. She packed the groceries, put them in the bag, and I left them there on the conveyor. They were so nice and let me go back inside and get the groceries that I left. But, success story, y'all. <laughs> Cranberries on top. These add a really beautiful, bright color. This is a perfect sweet butter board for fall time and for winter time. So you can do it savory. Originally we were gonna do a savory board and we had most of the stuff ready. But we really just wanted to have breakfast at Cracker Barrel, be able to buy some biscuits, make our coffee. You can do a butterboard with an array of different ingredients, and this is not gonna be the last time you're gonna see a butterboard on this channel. Aw, uh, who loves biscuits? We love biscuits. I'm so hungry. What goes better with a butterboard than buttery biscuits? Hungry. And we have our coffee. You guys like my new vintage mug I got? I got this from a little craft store that sold like all kinds of vintage stuff too. Oh, I was hitting the spot, I needed that. We got our biscuits. Mm. I'm gonna take a bite and Amber's gonna take a bite. Have a bite. Okay. Look at our butter board. We did it, you guys. This is super easy to do. So you, if you have bread, you can also just kind of use it as like a dip. But since we're using biscuits and they're super crumbly, we're just gonna scoop it on there. Mm. That is not disappointing. That's delicious. I know you want some. Blueberry, the pop is gonna be so nice on it. 
Mmm. Sweet, salty, the hot, fresh biscuit. Yo, this is how you boondock. I'm already thinking of so many other variations of this board. If you were to use peanut butter as the base, or even hummus, any kind of stickier spread that would be a good base to add so many delicious toppings to. <laughs> There's Winston, in case you were wondering where he is. He made his way right in. Sometimes whenever we show up and we've been driving all day, we're a little bit burnt out. Sometimes it's a little unsettling whenever you get to these areas. You want to make sure you're safe, obviously. And once we had some time to just kind of relax, accept the fact that the deep cycle battery wasn't working, transfer all of our stuff from our fridge in here into our 12 volt cooler that we have. We have our 2000 watt Ocmo power bank with us as well. So that's coming through and it hasn't even made a dent in the power of the power bank. So that's really cool. I mentioned that we actually stayed at this Cracker Barrel last time serendipitously. What was different about last time and this time is that the first time we camped here, there were three or four other campers boondocking in the parking lot this time zero so it feels a little bit different and less normal when you're the only people out here boondocking in the cracker barrel parking lot we knew that we were allowed though we called first that's true and it is early october in louisiana so it is still a little bit warm and it was pretty hot when we were first starting to go to bed at 9 p.m but by about midnight it really did cool down a lot we had all the windows open and our vents open so we were nice and cool throughout the night when you're first trying to go to bed and it's hot and we usually keep the AC pumping in here, so we like it to be pretty nice and cold. But that's a part of this life. It's a part of boondocking. It's a part of living a little bit more rugged. And it's starting to feel like camping season. Who is going to be going out camping? Let us know down in the comments below where you're going to be going. What's your preferred way of camping? Tent, camper, pool behind. What you got? Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I got my mouth full right now. I can't wait to make this for people that I love and care about. Uh -huh. Like me? We are hitting the road. We have a long drive today, but we're gonna be lounging on the beach the next time we see you. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know what kind of butterboards you all make. Oh, that's not right. We and we just had a ball. Winston, what are you doing? And we just had a ball. Will you pour some water on this for me? Yes. Rinse these. Even just a handful is fine. These are tight quarters in this truck camper, so wherever that person is standing, that person has those duties. <laughs> Good butter, amen.